what you get a very good idea from here of the sort of scale of what's happened. You'll hear the announcements. We're actually at the Vauxhall Cross bus station. They're trying to uh, get some of the people who have been waiting there out of the way as the police move people back. If you look behind me, you can see some of the response. Now, when I turned up here a little earlier, uh, I could see uh, down the side of this building here where you could see the debris uh, lying on the ground. If we look to the top of this building, if we just look up here, you'll see these, these newish uh, flats. These aren't part of the construction, but a poking out the top there is this building that is still under construction. You will see the top of that, those circular parts there, which haven't been completed. And on the left of your picture, you'll see the crane. Now, it's slightly harder to see from this angle, but the impression that, that you get uh, from around the corner is that part of that crane that was pointing up and out of it has been hit, has been knocked to the ground. Earlier, I saw debris that looked very much like it had been knocked from there, lying on the ground, an area now quite unobtainable, uh, ungettable uh, because of the various police cordons. If we come down again, you can see a little bit of the scale, three uh, fire engines here, a major incident unit. You can see an ambulance unit with a, a satellite on top where they're trying to coordinate what's gone on here. Huge numbers of police. We've seen London Fire Brigade vehicles with heavy uh, lifting equipment on the back of them. We've seen London Fire Brigade vehicles talking about um, urban search and rescue on the side. That may or may not be relevant to the sort of operation operation that is run here. And let me give you an idea of just how central this is. Uh, if we walk around here, you can see some of the people who've been evacuated out, workmen uh, in their white hats who've been evacuated. And over here, the uh, the security services building. Now, there is no suggestion there's any sort of terrorist-related incident. You can see just how close we were uh, to that building where this happened. That there, if you look just to the left, is Vauxhall Bridge. If we come back around here, you can see where the incident was and you can see why this is going to cause such a huge amount of travel disruption. This here is the station. Now, they shut all this up. This would normally be packed with buses. Just back there is the station, the railway station, where you still have trains uh, running just around here. You'll see some of the media. You'll see the police incident control van just up there in the brick structure. That's the bridge. That's where the trains run to and from, back and forth to Waterloo. They are still doing that. They haven't been stopped. And one of the reasons that police may have been so keen to move people back, I think, is not just because there is so much to clear, not just because there is so much to find out. But you wonder, and this is merely speculation from looking at the building, just how confident they are that the structure at the top here is safe. Um, within the last few minutes, we've heard uh, from the Metropolitan Police a statement from them. They say that they were alerted about eight this morning about this incident, the Wandsworth Road, South London, which is south of the River Thames here. They say it appears a helicopter collided with the crane that we've seen there on the top of that building. The Meta here, the ambulance, two people confirmed dead here at this scene. No further details about that. Two have been taken to a South London hospital and they are waiting for an update on their condition. But clearly, and it's a statement uh, of the obvious, uh, but probably important to this, this was at the middle of rush hour. A hugely busy time with commuters, with people travelling back and forth and a very major incident in the midst of it.